Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back. My name is Brandon Burt here at Trans Impact. Welcome to the next episode of our Let's Talk Ship discussion series. If you've joined our previous episodes, welcome back. If this is your first time attending, welcome. We're glad to have you here. Our team has developed this series with the goal of providing insights, ideas, and data related to the ever-changing shipping environment. Today, we'll be discussing how BI solutions deliver fast and sustainable parcel operation savings with Jeffrey Williams, Project Manager in Logistics from Superior Group of Companies. Welcome, Jeffrey. Hi, thanks for having me. Quick intro, Jeffrey has an extensive logistics background. Prior to coming on board with SGC, uh, Jeffrey worked with UPS and, JP and JBS and a few other companies similar. So his focus with SGC is process improvement with an emphasis on logistics, production, warehousing, and inventory management. First off, again, thank you for joining us. Uh, just want to get right into it here and um, want to know, hey, when did Superior Group decide and why did they decide to get a tool like our Parcel BI system? Well, thanks, Brandon. Uh, so this was, I believe, so to preface all this, we have a, a long-standing relationship with uh, Transportation Impact. Uh, you know, it's been a, a great relationship for us over the years. And I believe Bob and Guy came to, um, you know, my direct report, my boss, Charles, uh, who is our senior VP of global uh, sourcing and distribution. So, uh, you know, he he's the one in charge of kind of moving everything around and making sure we're getting it all in. And, you know, it's a very extensive network. Uh, and they, they came to him with this tool, I believe, a couple of years ago. Um, it didn't take long to to uncover, at least on his end, that it was something that was going to be very, very beneficial to us, uh, but he needed someone to manage it. So that's when they brought me on board. Uh, and from from my start, which was just over a year ago, you know, I've really been able to fully delve into the PSI tool and have found it to be, you know, extremely beneficial uh, in what we're trying to capture here. That's amazing. So you mentioned uh, your time with Superior Group and, and the history that we have with Superior Group. Um, just tell us, and for all, and for our audience as well, how complex is the the shipping landscape, the the parcel environment, uh, and overall logistics with superior group of companies? Uh, extremely complex, e extremely extensive. Uh, so we are a global company. Uh, we we have business interests, uh, obviously stateside, but also um, Central South America. Asia, Europe, uh, and we're moving, you know, from multiple manufacturing facilities, DCs, warehouses, you know, uh, being able to, to run and just, and just last year in 2021, I believe we had north of, you know, 2 million, uh, individual parcel shipments just between FedEx and UPS. So just keeping up with that business, um, is very, very labor intensive. Uh, we have a large and diverse customer base. Uh, you know, and we have multiple routes to ordering and fulfillment within that. So being able to really keep track of, you know, our parcel movements, our parcel spend through that network uh, is critical. It's critical to day-to-day uh, to -day operations and the, the, you know, the functionality of the business. Yeah, that sounds pretty challenging. Uh, you know, Jeffrey, with your experience, not only in parcel and in logistics and your experience with other uh, transportation companies such as UPS, you also have experience in process improvement. You have experience in inventory management, production. So a tool like this must, uh, you know, really deliver some key points, maybe some some key knowledge that you need to be dangerous in each of those areas. Can you share with us one of your biggest wow moments or biggest takeaways from your usage of this tool? So the the first thing for me was the ease of use. Uh, the smoothness of the, the user interface there, being able to kind of delve in. There's, of course, going to be a little bit of a learning curve, uh, and that's to, to any new program, um, you know, any new software or, or anything that you're kind of engaging with. But, you know, once you get your feet underneath you, it's very, very easy to start pulling out really detailed information, uh, you know, all the way down to package level detail, you know, as far up as, you know, customer, individual shipments, by account, by location, pretty much anything you need to effectively audit and manage you know, your parcel movement and spend, you're going to be able to capture, you know, with the, the PSI program. Um, so, and, and to give kind of a good example of, of a way that it can save you a good bit of time and make your life, you know, a bit easier, at least on my end. So we had a case uh, here recently where somewhere in the last year and a half to two years, we had 
the billing for a particular customer transition from a customer account to our account, and there's a reconciliation that happens through accounting in there, well, it, it, that wasn't captured. So effectively, the customer wasn't being correctly billed for about a year and a half worth of invoices. And without this tool, we would have had to dig through one, you know, engage the accounting department, pull through these you know, thousands of pages of invoices, isolate the individual shipping charges, compile all that data, pull it together and bring this report back and you know, come to the customer with this. Well, without this, I'd say conservatively, we're looking at weeks, if not months, whereas being able to have all of that information already uploaded into the PSI program, able to pull it out in a, in a matter of days and really be able to turn something you know, that important around, pulling information from mid-2020 to now, in a matter of days to that level of detail by customer, by shipping location and full, you know, the full invoicing amount was great. You know, I mean, it's, it's, it's something that, you know, with, without being able to do this through this tool, you know, we, we could still be talking about this in, you know, late summer, early, you know, early uh, fall. So it's, you know, it's really the turnaround, the time savings, the ease of use, the visibility, you know, like I said, to the individual charge level details and package details that uh, that I think is, you know, that I think really makes this a, 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 you know, overly beneficial program for for anyone who has a large extensive shipping operation. That's amazing. It sounds like you're getting really two benefits, at least in this example. You know, you have um, the operational savings and just what it would take to identify that issue uh, and then qualify and quantify the issue and really get a business case for a superior group. Uh, that's a unique example, but I got to say it happens often to a lot of companies. So you also get the tool. So, you know, that tool can help pay for itself, both when you find some of these, you know, uh, an example of uh, a real, you know, financial impact and error that is related, you know, directly resulted to a loss for superior group, right? And then you also get those savings that it's one person using a tool versus three or four over the course of maybe six months. Um, and I, I'm guessing there, there's your value, you know? So superior group has likely found some value in this just in that one example. So knowing that you use it weekly, in, in many cases, and knowing that you've used it to solve uh, specific one-off projects, maybe share with us what has been your best day using PSI? Maybe when you found some of the most um, impactful savings or, or, or some kind of rate event, what has been your best day using PSI? So a, a couple come to mind here, it's, and it's you know, it's a great management tool uh, for pulling reporting. Uh, you can use it as, you know, in daily management of a parcel overview, or you can use it as a, you know, a weekly or monthly resource tool to, you know, make sure that you're, you're, you're managing your landscape very well. Uh, so we had an issue last year where I believe um, some, some billing got out of hand, uh, incorrectly charged uh, for specific shipments, and it accelerated our parcel spend up about tenfold over the course of a week. Uh, and there, and being able to capture that within the program, you could just see this huge spike day in and day out uh, in, in your week over week overview. So instead of waiting for accounting to come back, you know, weeks, months later, whenever, you know, that we're finally gotten around to it, you're able to capture that data on the front end and recoup, you know, that, that cost back from the service provider. Uh, on, you know, in a very, very timely manner so that you don't have, you know, potentially millions of dollars laying out there uh, that, you know, should be in your pocket, not theirs. Um, and then two, being able to dig into the, the manageable charges, the, the things that you can actually uh, have some control over. Uh, those are gonna be, you know, some of your, your address corrections. So you can apply some API to the customer facing platforms on the front end to make sure that you're you know, mitigating uh, those charges, you know, make sure your, your accounts are up to date and valid with the invalid account. And when these things are coming through at, you know, 18 bucks a pop and you're looking at millions of shipments across, I mean, you can see how it'll add up um, even at small percentages. Uh, so that's, I mean, those are the, the big wins for me with being able to go in and, and immediately capture, you know, where are these 
areas that we could we could improve our spend, you know, and then where are these huge outliers? You know, where are the you know the things that have trended in the wrong direction, whether they're spikes or you know, even better is you're able to capture negative trends before they get, you know, before that curve starts taking off on you. Um, so, so I, I think those couple of examples, you know, were, were, were really big wins, you know, for me and, and utilizing the tool and things that would be available to anyone who did it, anyone who used it. Yeah, we hear that often. Address corrections are one of those very avoidable charges and one of those dings you get from really any carrier. And at the end of the day, it's that shipper that has the burden of proof, right? They're the ones that have to actually solve that issue. You know, it's them or their end user that is inputting the wrong address. So a tool like this can help not only get an idea of how much that's costing uh, for potential relief, right? Maybe it also gives you some visibility into what repeat users have um, problems or bad habits in inputting correct addresses. But lastly, there's also the ability to find what those actual addresses are. So for those repeat users, a lot of times shippers can go in, see where the error is potentially, and just go back into their system and adjust the address for that user, that client, and you're off to the races. You have savings then and there. Sure. So that's, that's one we hear often. Um, you know, Jeffrey, I got a tough one for you here. Do you have a favorite page, object, tool, or report within PSI that you feel like you go to first and go to the most? And can you expand on that if possible? Uh, so a, a couple here. Um, the, the address correction page is one that you can just pop to immediately. Uh, and that's always a good one to kind of have available to you there. Uh, the parcel spend overview, if you just want that big high level snapshot of, of you know, what you're doing within the week, within your different divisions, uh, and being able to capture that. And then of course the invoice, uh, sorry, the invoice charge detail. And that lays out, you know, all of the individual charges that you'll, you'll encounter, you know, through billing and being able to, and that's where you can really kind of dig into, you know, the stuff that you have the ability to mitigate. Um, you yeah, know, so, I mean, I'd say those three, uh, you know, those three tabs on the dashboard, are probably three that I use, you know, the most often, uh, if not definitely, you know, in the top five. That's a, you know, that's some really good feedback, Jeffrey. Uh, and it kind of makes me think of just how vast the value this tool can really drive for most organizations. You know, when you think about it, one user, you know, one, uh, type of individual within an organization might just want to see that period over period analysis. They might want to see that 30,000 foot bird's eye view of their spend and their carrier exposure and even their accessorial exposure and maybe even their regional exposure, right? Mm -hmm. And they can get this high level look right then and there within PSI. But then someone like yourself who not only needs that overview, um, and enjoys that drill down capability to really dig in and do some research within this tool, you can also really get down into the details. You can go and find a specific package that had a specific error or a specific charge that you want to avoid. And so this thing can help you drive policy as well as help, like you said, with that reporting and give high level information to those who might need that information uh, first and foremost. Absolutely. You know, you got my wheels turning a little bit, Jeffrey. Um, do you have any potentially, um, you mentioned, uh, maybe a rate event with, uh, a, another client at some point, um, a change in how they were shipping and, and the account. Um, do you have any more specific examples that you can share? And if not, that's fine. We can keep moving, but you got, you got my juices flowing right now, Jeffrey. Yeah. Uh, I mean, so, so digging into say the, uh, you know, some, account charges there and getting to, like I said, the address correction. And this was one that kind of picked up on was just, you know, we kept having a couple of extreme violators for invalid accounts and we were updating and for whatever reason, you know, we were getting hit with these, you know, $10,000 a month charges for invalid accounts. And without being able to access this to the tool, it would have been a thing. I'm not even sure accounting would have caught, or if they would have, it would have been, you know, months, if not years down the road. So being able to pinpoint that, go back to those, 
you know, that customer, because anytime a new customer came on, they onboarded a new site, a new, a new individual customer, a brick and mortar location. And they're, you know, vast and expansive. We have customers across the globe. Uh, so being able to stay on top of those types of charges, being able to stay on top of things like, uh, let's just say, um, you know, you, you start getting assessed some late fees just because you're coming out of a pandemic and the accounting department is way behind on kind of what they're trying to get done here and being able to move into these invoices and kind of capture this and, you know, fully utilize maybe uh, an ACH option so that you you're staying, you know, within your, you know, within your time frame, within your service agreement and, and not getting hit with these charges of, of essentially thousands of dollars of a billing cycle that is just money you're giving away because you're not turning it around within the time frame that you need to. So little things like that. And, and you say it's nickel and dime, but when you're, you know, you're running millions of shipments a year, nickels and dimes, you know, add up to hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars. So, you know, and all of that affects your bottom line. So if you find a way to capture that, mitigate that and get it back down, then that's just money flowing back into your company. That's a great point you made. You know, this tool, is great for a, a user like yourself, but also great for a company like Superior Group where you're managing upwards of 20 locations, maybe across four or five continents. You have inbound, you have outbound, you have truckload, LTL, you have parcel. Um, there's really not much that isn't captured by the wide net and expanse of Superior Group as you guys have enjoyed so much growth. It's so interesting, though, that you mentioned dollar savings, hard dollar savings, and, you know, that's relevant to any, you know, it's really relevant to any shipper. The smallest of shippers with the simplest of operations and the simplest of parcel landscapes can likely find very small things that give them a lot of comfort in using this tool and its value. And then the larger shippers, like you mentioned, and we know there's larger and smaller than Superior Group, you know, out there. Imagine the size that those those companies uh, must be, and how even some of those small things may add up for them. And with that said, you know, speaking about other companies, what should a company consider? How should their decision making process look when they're considering? you know, buying a tool, starting to use a tool, or to integrate this tool, right? How should a company really be thinking about making this decision with PSI? I, I mean, for so you want to look at it from the standpoint of how comfortable are you with your parcel spend? How, you know, how complete of control do you have over, you know, everything that you're doing day in and day out operationally as it relates to, you know, your shipments, your movements throughout the company, um, you know, and are you, are you growing? Are you already large? Cause obviously there's, um, there's a scale limitation. You know, if you're a, a small guy and doing a couple hundred shipments a year, then maybe this, you know, wouldn't be the program for you. But as, as you're scaling up and with the rise of e-commerce and, you know, more and more, uh, uh, parcel becoming more and more a part of every operation out there. I mean, even the guys who maybe necessarily didn't have, you know, a, a, a website with e-commerce facing the, the public. And I'm, I'm talking about like local shops that were never selling to anyone outside of their little, you know, 10 mile radius. Well, all of a sudden they're shipping things across the globe. Now that takes off. And then you're looking at hundreds of thousands of shipments a year. Well, that's when you need to start looking into, to making sure you have a good handle on, you know, where, you know, where the spend's coming into, you know, breaking it down to the individual detail. What's, you know, what's your service level? on this kind of stuff. Can you go, can you go back and find ways to improve what you're doing? And that's what I said, when you get to that, it becomes an economy of scale. You're moving that, you know, you're, you're watching your margins and, and anytime you're giving a dollar away, you're cutting into it, you know, and this is gives you an opportunity to really, you know, tighten up your shipping operation, your parcel spend, you know, to a point where it's, uh, it's running as lean as possible. And that's just, it's beneficial to you. It's going to end up being beneficial to your end customers. And, you know, could be the difference between viability long-term. You know, that's a great point. And this tool can likely serve so many, you know, objectives. They can likely serve so many different jobs that we're not even thinking of today. Um, you know, there's potential that it could drive revenue, but there's definitely one thing we know for a fact that it can drive and that's savings. And you think of, 
you know, users such as yourself and organizations and, you know, your team there, a lot of users and a lot of companies, they don't always think about transportation spend and its impact on earnings, right? And you think of earnings and you think of that, that simple equation, a dollar saved is very valuable to an organization. So this tool being able to, you know, really help you drill down, it, an easy tool, um, and you know, I believe a, a, a fairly consistent tool that you enjoy on a regular basis. Um, you know, those are those key points that just gotta resonate with anyone in the parcel environment. So, Jeffrey, I'll I'll pause and, and see if there's anything else that I didn't pull out of you today that you want to mention, and then I think it would be a good chance for us to check with our audience to see if any questions have come in. No, I mean, it, to, to touch on your level of growth for Superior, uh, that's been a big thing that we have undertaken over the last, you know, five years to a decade is we've been in a, a, a great, great rate of growth and a, and a kind of a boom period for us. But in bringing on these different divisions and our uniform group and HPI, Fashion Steel and CID, uh, the, the branding side with BAMCO, Public Identity, Chain, like bringing these guys in, then, you know, there's a there's a huge volume increase as a result of that. And having a tool like this to be able to manage that influx was, was very, very helpful. That's amazing. I appreciate the additional feedback, Jeffrey. So to our audience, do we have any questions? So it looks like we have one. I'll go ahead and read it out and give it my best shot on the answer here. So my company does small parcel, but with USPS and a courier service. Is this tool only for FedEx and UPS carriers? That answer is easy, no. I don't have a list in front of me of every carrier this tool does support, but definitely FedEx, UPS, USPS, DHL, and a plenty of others. Let's see here. So here's another one. You are talking a lot about how the tool has saved you money, but don't you have to pay for this tool? And how do you actually get money back? Well, that's definitely going to be case by case in a lot of, in a lot of um, scenarios, right? Uh, it's, it would be difficult to predict for every company out there, a blanket response to how you would get money back. But the truth is, this tool can provide actionable insights. That's a lot of what Jeffrey has alluded to today in that he's been able to not only use the tool for reporting, but also use the tool to find those pockets of wasted dollars. And that's gonna exist in most shipping operations relevant to the size of, of that, um, you know, of that category relevant to the amount of money you spend uh, some will be small, some will be large, uh, but this tool is not free. Uh, and you know, the main takeaway there being, Jeffrey has proven to us today, and many users have proven to us in the past and continue to prove to us on a daily basis that the tool pays for itself when you take advantage of the knowledge it's trying to share with you as a user. That was a great question. So do you have a free trial of this tool? We always offer demos. We always help users learn the tool and uh, working with your TransImpact partner can help determine whether or not uh, you as a shipper are eligible for a free trial. To see the tool with your own data, it's always a demo. Signing up for a demo, uh, the important piece is getting your data shared with you know, our team and our systems to help populate that, that PSI uh, demo is what would be important to most users and in that demo you can usually see some of that low-hanging fruit and um, that again is very relevant to your own shipping operation. Hard to predict right here today but we've yet to find users that didn't find value and hard dollar savings in this tool. Jeffrey, again thank you so much sir for being a part of this with us today. Um, to our audience, Thank you very much for your time and attention. Uh, we enjoy discussing how BI solutions deliver fast and sustainable savings to any parcel operation. We really look forward to seeing you on a future episode. Take care.